Welcome family and friends of Kayla and Sierra. We come here today to unite this couple in holy matrimony. Marriage is an institution not to be taken lightly. It's a vow that this couple shall make to spend the rest of their lives together. Let us pray. God, we ask for your blessings upon this couple as we celebrate this momentous occasion in their lives. Grant them happiness as they establish their lives together, create a new family, and explore the depths of their love for one another and for you. Bless their families and friends for the relationships that they have supported and strengthened them throughout their lives. Bless them with the inner gifts of trust, forgiveness, and compassion that they may live and grow together in love and peace. Amen. Amen. Kayla and Sierra, this is your most special day, a day you will never forget, a day when your married life now begins. Marriage is a commitment for life. It's the best that two people can find and bring out in each other. It offers opportunities for sharing and growth that no other relationship can equal. It's a physical and emotional joining that's promised for a lifetime. And now in front of your family and friends, look deep into each other and repeat after me and bow your love for one another. Kayla, look at your beautiful bride and repeat these words. Sierra. Sierra. I take you. I take you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To live together in marriage. To live together in marriage. To love you. To love you. Comfort you. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> oh, to comfort you. Honor you and keep you. Honor you and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Sierra. Your look at your beautiful bride. <laughs> Repeat these words. Kayla. Kayla. <laughs> I take you. I take you. To be my lawful wedded wife. To be my lawful wedded wife. To live together in marriage. To live together in marriage. To love you. To love you. Comfort you. Comfort you. Honor you and keep you. Honor you and keep you. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Forsaking all others. Forsaking all others. To be faithful to you. To be faithful to you. As long as we both shall live. As long as we both shall live. Now, it's a true joy to be here with Kayla and Sierra, to be part of this glorious day. I consider it a true privilege to officiate the wedding ceremony. Now, after this ceremony today, I sign this little piece of paper. And, now, this is your marriage license. Now, some folks have it in a nice frame hanging on a wall. Some put it in a nice, safe place. Now, regardless of what you do with this piece of paper, I want to tell you a secret. Just a piece of paper. This piece of paper is not a marriage. In fact, everything we're doing today is not a marriage. Don't get me wrong, this is a glorious day. And it's wonderful to be here with all these friends and family witnessing your vows. But as wonderful as it is to be here, don't be confused. This is a marriage ceremony, a wedding. It's not a marriage. What makes a marriage is what follows this day. What makes a marriage is what you do tomorrow, the next day, the following weeks, months, and years. Marriage is not a piece of paper, it's a gift. Marriage is a gift, it's a gift of yourself, it's a gift of your life. And it's not just for today. It's for every day from this day forward. Kayla and Sierra, you must constantly give of yourselves to one another. That is marriage. And with that gift to each other and that shared love, I know you will have a marriage that will last through the ages. Now today you join your separate lives together. It's a special day where two are becoming one. The separate vessels of glass beads behind us symbolize your separate lives, separate families, separate sets of friends. They represent all you have been as an individual. They also represent your <coughs> lives before today. Now as the glass beads are poured into one vessel, the individual vessels no longer exist. They become one. Just as these beads can never be separated and poured into individual vessels, our wish is that your marriage, your lives, and your new family become a blended masterpiece like the glass. Mm -hmm. 
And uh, could I have the rings, please? You did not perform, sir. Uh, but now you're here. Yep. Kayla and Sierra have verbally affirmed their love by repeating the wedding vows, thus starting their new lives together. We now look at another affirmation of that love. With no beginning and no end, the wedding ring is the eternal symbol of love. Our brides will now exchange rings, each placing the band on the ring finger of the other's left hand as they repeat the words, with this ring, I pledge my love. And Caitlin first, with this ring, I pledge my love. With this ring, I pledge my love. That's nice looking on. Too good. With this ring, I pledge my love. With this ring, I pledge my love. Come on, put it on there. Come on. <laughs> Kayla and Sierra have agreed to a commitment of love forever. They've symbolized this with the wedding rings and the vows they've pledged to each other. They stand here before us today, waiting to officially be pronounced married. But before I do that, I just have one more thing I want to do. <laughs> Your wedding day is one that seems to fly by. It's a day filled with emotions, friends, rings, dances. Many people remember how fleeting their own wedding day was. So I want you to take a few seconds, look into each other's eyes, think about the happiness you're feeling in this place, in this moment. Really let that feeling register in your hearts and your minds. It's been said, a dream you dream alone is only a dream. A dream you dream together, that is reality. That new reality starts now. I ask all of you to join in the celebration of these unified lives and witnessed by all these friends and family, I have the pleasure to pronounce you married. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise as I present you Mrs. and Mrs. Fox.